I don't know if this happens to anyone else. Well, I think it might only happen to me. A lot of shit seems to be that way. But, yeah, I missed the postie. How the fuck did I miss the postie? I'm sitting right near the fucking door. This is how I missed the postie. And this is why it's a big deal. Because it was, you know, my medication. I can't fucking believe this shit. The air con is on because it's fucking hot. Like it's 42 degrees or some shit. Who knows? It's over 40 degrees. It's been over 40 degrees Celsius for probably a whole week. I'm dying. I'm fucking dying. So I'm sitting near the door. So I can hear the post here because I'm expecting this. I've been expecting it all day. I got up early for this shit. Dedication, you know? My ear has been listening. Yeah, so I got the aircon on because, hey, I can't live without my aircon because it's 42 degrees Celsius. Aircon on. I've also got my fan on because I need to blow the air back into my face because it's 42 degrees Celsius. And I'm a white girl and I'm melting. I'm melting into my fucking leather couch. I know I'm going to have to peel myself off. I got a notification that the postie said no one was home. How? To knock on my door, you have to open the fly screen. If you knock on the fly screen, it's loud. If you open the fly screen, it's loud. If you knock on my door, I'm right here. Look, I'm right here next to the door. I don't think he fucking came. I reckon he decided it was too hot. And he, I reckon he lied on the form. I reckon he just went straight there. But now, usually it's like pick up after 2 p.m., after 3 p.m., pick up after 4 p.m. That is fucked. Not only is it, what, it took seven days instead of three, because it usually takes three days. Seven days, it only started moving after I fucking made a report, you know. It's not moving, you're not getting any tracking update. As soon as my customer inquiry is lodged, boom. My parcel is on the move. I've been watching it. I've been watching it where it is. I have been waiting. I'm so on the ball right now. All I want to do is fucking cry. I want to have a ball. That's the fucking thing. Because now it's 42 degrees Celsius. It's hot as fuck. Now I've got to go outside and get in my car that's been sitting in the sun all day. All day in 42 degrees Celsius. Do you guys even understand this? This is Australia. This is leave something on the dashboard. It's going to melt. You can leave a frying pan outside for five minutes in this sun. Chuck a fucking egg in there. Boom, it's cooking. It's cooking and it's sizzling. And there's your egg and it's cooked. That is the Australian sun. Especially getting into a car that is not parked under shade. It's taken the full brunt of it, you know. Oh, my God. It's going to be so fucking hot on my fingers when I touch that steering wheel. Then, get this. Yeah, because a few people in a brothel, you know, eh, eh, how we have been keeping track of Miss Rona. And every time we go to a place, we scan ourselves in, logs us in as going to that place, and the government know, you know, wherever we've been going. Some people, you know, if you don't want the government to know or you don't want the app, to sign in but yeah this particular place weren't enforcing that I wonder why you know why would no one want to not let anyone know that they were at this specific place and then all these 60 year old men started testing positive for miss rona so put three and seven together and you've got fucking 10 which is one which is the start of an exclamation point, you put that dot under and boom, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, that kind of massage parlour. Anyway, guess where it is? It's so fucking close to home. It's right next to my chemist. But that's so close to home. Am I exposed? When they say, have you been at one of the exposure sites? If I've been to the chemist, which is not very close, but pretty close, like a block away, not even a block. Like a diagonal, I have, I have problems in my life when I say diagonal. It's diagonal, but sometimes it's say diagonal, diagonal, like diagonal. I know, I really fucked myself up on that word. 
Now I've got to go outside and yeah, now I've got to wear a mask in 42 degrees Celsius. I've got to wear a mask and I've got to go inside and I've got to show my ID and then I've got to talk to someone and then I've got to breathe with a mask. I'm claustrophobic. I can't breathe. <laughs> And it's so hot. There's so much. The mask, like, I could go through so much with the mask. Should I just tell you one thing? Okay, one thing. I have to wear my hair down when I wear a mask because I can't wear it up because the mask pulls my ears forward. And I really do think that this is because I don't have lobes. So the mask, like, has to pull it forward. It doesn't have a little indent to fall under. I don't think they make. Do they make masks for people that don't have lobes? <gasps> Do people that don't have lobes, are you guys having issues with masks? Is it not working properly for you too? Are you getting a bit of pullage of the ear in the forward direction? Do you have to wear your hair down? If you're a guy and you don't have lobes, have you started to grow the front of your hair? Where are you guys? Should we talk? Should we all meet? Do you want to meet and have a live and... Talk about not having any lobes and how fucked it is when you put a mask on and you don't have lobes. Oh my God, man. No lobes. Problems. No lobes. That's our gang. Our gang is no lobes. Gang. <laughs>